Okay, we're going to try some more examples of the half angle formulas. Now we're going to find the sine and cosine of pi over 8, and we're going to check that our answers satisfy the Pythagorean identity sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So let me remind you of the half angle formulas. We have sine of 1 half x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 half 1 minus cosine x. We'll be using that. And cosine of 1 half x, same formula just with a plus, square root of 1 half 1 plus cosine x. So in this case, we want to find the sine and cosine of pi over 8. Now that's not one of the common values that we need to memorize. So I don't remember the sine and cosine of pi over 8. What I do know is that pi over 8 is 1 half of pi over 4. And one, pi over 4 is a common value. I know the sine and cosine of pi over 4. So that's kind of my starting point. I'm going to take the x to be pi over 4, and then I'm going to plug into the half angle formulas. So sine of pi over 8 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 half of 1 minus cosine of pi over 4, because my x is pi over 4. Now, Cosine of pi over 4 is a common value that I remember. I know that by heart. It's square root of 2 over 2. I'm going to put these over a common denominator. So 1 half is 2 over 2. 2 minus root 2 over 2. So I get plus or minus the square root of 2 minus root 2 over 4. Plus or minus the square root of 2 minus root 2, and the square root of 4 is just 2 there. Now, I need to deal with this plus or minus, figure out whether it's positive or negative. Let me draw a quick unit circle here. I know that pi over 4 is over here. Pi over 8 is half of that, so that's down here definitely in the first quadrant there, so both its sine and cosine are going to be positive. Remember, sine and cosine are the x and y coordinates. So I know that I want to take the positive square root here, is in quadrant 1. Sine of pi over 8 must be positive. So sine of pi over 8 then must be equal to the positive square root of 2 minus root 2 over 2. So now let's figure out the cosine of pi over 8. I'll do that on a new page here. So cosine of pi over 8 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 half 1 plus cosine of pi over 8, or sorry, pi over 4. The x is pi over 4, and then we're finding the, the cosine of x over 2 here. So this is plus or minus the square root of 1 half 1 plus. Now cosine of pi over 4, remember that very well. That's a common value, root 2 over 2. Put this over a common denominator. So we get 2 plus root 2 over 2. Combine those fractions, so we get 2 plus root 2 over 4. And finally, we can split up the square root into numerator and denominator. 2 plus root 2 over 4. And again, we already said that uh, pi over 8 is in quadrant 1, the first quadrant. So cosine of pi over 8 must be positive. That's the x value. So we have cosine of pi over 8 equal to the positive square root of 2 plus root 2 
And I simplified slightly wrong here. The square root of 4, of course, is 2. I accidentally wrote that down again as 4. And so cosine of pi over 8 is the positive square root of 2 plus root 2 over 2. So now we've figured out the sine and cosine of pi over 8 using our half angle formulas. The last thing the problem asks us to, to do is to check that those sines and cosines um, verify the Pythagorean identity sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So let's work those out. Sine squared of pi over 8 plus cosine squared of pi over 8. Well, the sine was root 2 minus root 2 over 2. We need to square that. The cosine was the same thing with a plus, 2 plus root 2 over 2. And if we square that out in the numerator, we just get uh, square root squared, so they cancel each other. We get 2 minus root 2 over denominator 2 squared is 4 plus the numerator is 2 plus root 2 over 4. If we combine those, the minus root 2 and plus root 2 cancel, so we get 4 over 4, and that of course simplifies down to 1. And so that does check then that sine squared of pi over 8 plus cosine squared of pi over 8 is equal to 1, so it checks the Pythagorean identity. So the key to that problem was really just remembering the half angle formulas for sine and cosine, sine of 1 half x and cosine of 1 half x. To get pi over 8, we just notice that it's half of pi over 4, and we plug that into the formulas. And we get this answer which has a plus or minus square root. So we've got to remember that pi over 8 is in quadrant 1, so um, it's sine and it's cosine. Its x and y values are both going to be positive, and so we take the positive square root.